All right, a couple of items before we get to a weather report, including Bishop Unified School District Superintendent Barry Simpson has announced that in an effort to alleviate traffic congestion at Home Street Middle School, the parking spaces directly in front of Home Street Middle School will be closed in the morning hours on school days. This is helping to create a student drop off lane heading in the southbound direction on Home Street. Now, Superintendent Simpson said by doing this, the hope is to increase the traffic flow and again alleviate some of the congestion caused by the start of the school day. Superintendent Simpson said school officials will appreciate everyone's cooperation as they give this new strategy a trial run starting this Monday, August 22nd, the first day of school. And the Bishop Police Department and the schools are asking everyone to drive safely. Parents, you are encouraged to take time to talk with your children about safety before school starts. Now some tips, pay attention, wear seat belts, remind teenagers to take extra precautions when driving. Pedestrians, follow traffic signs and other traffic directions and pay attention to the directions of the crossing guard. Also, never walk alone and walk. Don't run in the streets and crosswalks and small children should know and be able to recite their name, address and phone number as well as the name of their parent or parents. Parents should ensure that school records accurately reflect current contact information. Hey, let's have a great fun school year. Kids go to school, learn something, be somebody. And coming up this Saturday is the Southern Mono Historical Society's Pioneer Day. Now, this used to be known as the Old Timers Day and Barbecue, but now it's Pioneer Party and Annual General Membership Meeting, again, through the Southern Mono Historical Society. This will be at the Mammoth Museum at the Hayden Cabin, Sherwin Creek Road this Saturday. Festivities will start at 4.30, going till about 9.30 p.m. You know, there's a whole bunch of fun to be out out there and you've never been out to the mammoth museum at hayden cabin it is just absolutely a fun place to visit you can see the website mammothmuseum.org or check them out on facebook for more information all right let's go to the weather maps sierra way media forecaster dennis mattinson noting that slightly lower temperatures through thursday but still warm as the closed low sets up over california and nevada now this will provide a degree or two of cooling but still above average its presence will also bring a slight chance of thunderstorm activity over the mountains particularly mono county dmat says by friday into the weekend another low will move across the washington oregon border keeping a slight chance of some thunderstorms in Mono County by early next week. That low will move east, replaced by a ridge of high pressure. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 42 degrees. Bishop and the Owens Valley, about 64 degrees. Mammoth, June, Mono County on Thursday. Forecast is calling for lots of sunshine. Maybe a little northeast wind out there, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 78 the high in Mammoth, low of about 42 degrees. Mostly sunny skies can forecast for Friday. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, 77 the high in Mammoth, low of about 44 degrees and warming up on Saturday under mostly sunny skies in Mono County. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles, about 80 for the high in Mammoth, low of about 43 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley on Thursday, forecast calls for mostly sunny skies, maybe a little southwest wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour out there, 88 the high in Bishop, low of about 65 degrees. Friday, sunny skies for the valley. Still just a little southwest wind out there, 5 to 10. We need the breeze, 90 the high, low of about 66 degrees. And Saturday for the Owens Valley, mostly sunny skies. Maybe a southwest wind out there, 5 to 10 miles an hour. 89 the expected high in Bishop. Overnight lows in the mid-60s or so. So eh, some more nice summer weather for us here in the eastern Sierra. Absolutely gorgeous last weekend as the Mammoth Open took place. This is over two courses, Snow Creek. Athletic Club on Saturday, Sierra Star on Sunday. Take a check out this picture of my pal, my good buddy. Uh, he's my Springley partner. That's Steve Shibley right there. He's the general manager of Bishop Country Club. And Shib shot a 77 at Snow Creek, 76 at Sierra Star, 153 gross. Your Mammoth Open champion. Hey, Roman Barnes took second place. And Ian Burrell was third. Nate Bishop won the first flight. And Kristen Shipke took the ladies' division at the Mammoth Open. Under a lot of people had a lot of fun enjoying a couple of great courses in Mammoth Lakes. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, all 92.5 Sierra Wave Radio, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.